Yes, that is my dog barking in the background. Anyways, it's been a while since I've done an update. And the reason for that is, I'll just go over real quickly, we had a huge snowstorm, I think it was October 29th, which caused my power to go out for a week. And I wasn't able to get internet back until like two weeks after that. So I hadn't been able to upload anything. So I'm doing my update now. <laughs> and yeah, it was, it was a crazy time. My husband wasn't here. The power was out. I live in New England and it never snows in October. But it snowed and I had no heat, power, electricity, nothing. I fortunately had a wood stove to keep myself warm and a grill to cook some food. But it derailed me from my weight loss efforts because I didn't have a refrigerator to keep my food fresh. So I was pretty good for three days, but after that the snow started melting. I had no way to keep my food preserved or anything so I had to start eating what I had in my cupboards and then just the fact of having to heat a house come home take care of everything myself try to get everything done before it got dark because we had no power it got to be stressful so I would just go to the grocery store and pick up something real quick to make that wasn't on my diet plan so I'm just doing a quick update to tell all you guys this and I know I've gained weight. I probably gained back all my weight because my clothes are tight and whatever. But I didn't want to jump on the scale because it is discouraging, but it is what it is. This is real life and that's that. So today is Monday, November 14th, and I am back on the plan. Let me tell you, and I'm documenting starting this plan again in a notebook how I feel day to day jumping back on to my low carb whole food plan and today I had the worst headache just detoxing from all the crap I've been putting in my body and just this headache has been out of control I finally took some Excedrin and I hate taking medication but it was just unbearable so, day one, major headache. <laughs> I just, I just want to look back later on at my progress and just look at how I've been proved, how I felt and everything. And I can honestly say also that when I'm eating processed things and excess carbs, I feel like crap. I really do. I mean, I love the taste of it. I can't lie. But... Even after a while, I get sick of the taste of this stuff because it just tastes, like, chemically and just not good. But I could feel my sugar addiction coming back, and it's just crazy. And I was watching on The Biggest Loser, and they explain this very well, that for an overweight person, it takes them sometimes three times as much food to get that pleasure, um in the food that you have, you get, have this in your brain, uh, dopamine. And for overweight people, they need about three times as much food as a normal weight person. And the more overweight you get, the more food you need. It's so crazy, and I don't know how he explained it. He And I, I knew about this. I just forgot about this from a long time ago, but it's it's really true. It's You just find yourself eating more and more and wondering why and feeling like you're crazy. But he also said, which I found was true as well, that you can be on a diet plan and doing well, feeling good and everything, and then have one slip up and all that hard work that you did can cause you to take like 10 steps backwards and take you like a couple weeks just to get on track again because you just mess everything up in, in your brain on the plan you're on and it's just, it, it's crazy, the human mind and the cravings and just everything so I can really vouch for that being off of the diet for a couple of weeks but I'm really excited to be on again and I'm feeling better already as far as I feel satisfied like I just had my dinner and I feel I feel satisfied and it's weird because like one of the nights I had Chinese food 
so bad. I know. But I did. And after I ate, you know, my rice and whatever that was in the Chinese food, I felt so sluggish and gross. And just not good. And it's so different night and day from eating that to eating a more, I guess, paleo is what it's really called. Um, just eating whole foods, whole fat, um, proteins, things of that nature. And I just, I feel better. It's just, it's tough because I do love sugar. It just doesn't love me. <laughs> it wreaks havoc in my body. I can't... Produce, I can't get rid of it like I should and I'm pretty much insulin resistant and actually on Dr. Oz they were talking about this and there's a plan it's not like the one I'm doing but it's it's not as strict I guess and it's talking about insulin resistance and a lot of people have this don't realize they have it but it's a big issue and it's a big problem and later on it leads to diabetes so I don't know. I'm just glad I'm doing this while I'm young, before trying to conceive, and it is encouraging. It's not easy. It is hard, but sometimes, not sometimes, a lot of times in life, things aren't easy, and you just have to suck it up and do it, and it's for the best. So, sorry about my long rant. I just wanted to let you know what was going on, where I've been. I haven't weighed in. I will probably not weigh in again until, like, I don't know. I guess I'll make my weigh-ins on Mondays now. So, Monday, next Monday, I'll weigh in. But I didn't want to weigh in. I, I just didn't want to weigh in. So, <laughs> I'm just going to weigh in next Monday. It is depressing, and I hate, I hate the scale, honestly. But it is a measure to use, so. Anyways, I'm going to cut this here, and um, I'm going to just do a pre-TTC update as well. All right, I'll talk to you guys later and um, look for my way in next week. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.